My post, easiest way to tell an energy vampire, they have poor soul connection and are not doing shadow work. They're ego based and are often looking for energy sources without realizing it. They're very clingy and they tend to piss you off or lower your vibe. You get in bad moods around them. For me, I often start questioning their motivation very early on. They don't add up. They're the people you snap at. They're the people you lose it around. They're the people you can't understand your reaction to. They're the ones you keep getting angry at and the reason you're angry is because their need for your attention is draining you and lowering your frequency. I get energy vampires who love to monopolize my time and energy. They're the ones you say, I just don't like this person, without any reasonable explanation why. Even when they're bending over backwards to be nice to you. Even when they have nothing but good to say about you. They're in your face and from the get-go, act as if it's their rightful place to be, as if they've earned it and as if you're having a relationship with them. One thing about relationships, they are of mutual consent. If you feel like someone is monopolizing your life and you didn't consent to this, and you wish they'd go away, you've got a vampire on your hands. Leaving positive comments for someone is great until they keep reading them and their mood tanks. Then they get the real story, that you're baiting them to strengthen your energetic connection with them so that you can continue to feed off their energy. Do I sound like a paranoid lunatic? Probably. But I know what I'm talking about because I live this. It really affects me. Now that the higher energies are afoot I really can feel when my mood tanks and I will do something about it. I'm not keen on calling people vampires because they're people, they're not blood drinkers that rise from the dead. In keeping with our life is perfect and all is a learning experience based in love, concept, calling them victims of the system would be more appropriate. But vampires are a name most will recognize. Ivo, these people, my love, are drained of life energy out of acting through shame, guilt, and fear, and therefore seek stronger others to tap into and feed from. Your entire society is based on this structure. It is reflected in the physical through your structuring of the haves and the have-nots, those in power and those disempowered, the bosses and the workers, and parents who abuse their power, and the children who must support them by providing energy to them. You see the hierarchical structure which supports energy vampirism all throughout your world. It is based on inequality of the physical being, when in fact what is playing out is inequality of the energetic being and those who are lower in frequency remaining alive through vampiring off of others. Those who are in the lower echelons of your society have usually the highest amount of energy, those at the top are the vampires. Your system is not only draconian, it is vampiric and this is reflected in your caste and power structures. Those vampires who are at the top of your structure live well, while those on the bottom suffer. Your matrix system is an inversion of universal law. And blasphemous. Parents who are abuse victims victimize their children in turn because they require their energy. Confronted with this reality, they would also be able to justify themselves for doing it, because they would say they require the children's energies to keep supporting their physical being. So you see how this works. The one thing that remains largely unseen in this system is the parasite at work, the demonic beings who siphon off energy from their human hosts. I will say to you that your entire basis of interaction in the third and lower fourth dimensions is based on this parasitical system. Everything. Me, that's a bold statement, Ivo. Ivo, I am known for making them, Tianya. Me, it's called cutting through the BS here, Ivo. Ivo, call it what you may, my love, the truth needs to be spoken. Me, yes. Can we have some examples of vampires at work through their parasitic hosts? Ivo, we can look at your family. Me, LMAO yeah, you didn't have to go far there. Ivo, for example, the time your mother gave you a car. Me, I loved that car. All I had to do was shove a sliver of my Tim Hortons paper cup in the knob for the radio and the radio worked. It was a Chevy Corsica, V6. The locks and windows would all freeze in the winter time so I had to send my friend Doug in through the back hatch to get me into the car. 
LMAO. Ivo, you fortunately have a better car now. Me, the window will freeze but the locks don't freeze up. Ivo, when something started to go wrong with the car, as she knew it would, she would start on you. Being angry that you were being irresponsible and such. Me, how do you know she knew that the car would break down? She said it never did on her. Ivo, she knew because she said it never broke down on her. She was considering that when she gave it to you. Why did she give you the car? Me, because she got another one. Ivo, I rest my case. Me, true. Ivo, she gave you a sewing machine. And when you said you had not used it, she started on you again. Me, yes, it was either let me control you or give me your energy. Ivo, your parents were very good energy vampires. They knew all the tricks. If you had an older car and were to give it to someone, what is the first thing you would do with it? Me, take it in and get it serviced. Ivo, yes. Did your mother do that? Me, no. It was an old beater but it was a fun old beater. I got a few trips out of it. Ivo, you have managed to save X dollars now. For the first time in your life, you have money saved for an emergency or for unexpected circumstances. What would your mother say if you told her, proudly, that you had saved this much money? Me, she'd get on my case for not saving any more than that. I know, it was never good enough. Ivo, so if you have family or friends who love to point out that you are falling short of some implied mark they have set for you, then you have a vampire on your hands. These are the ones who see the cup as empty, not even half full. These people do not see the positives because it does not suit them to do so, how can they see the positive about you if their goal for you is your energy? They can only deflate you and trick you into giving them the supply. When they insult you, when they badger you, when they criticize and nag you, this is when your energy lowers and you provide them with the sustenance they need. Unless you do not play their game and walk away. The way to do this is to value yourself. When you allow others to value you over and above your own self-esteem, you play into their hands. Children are vulnerable in this system. It must be eliminated. Me, what about people who are too close, in your face, flatter you, draw on your time and energy? Ivo, it is the same thing. As this is less noxious, this person may be at a higher frequency but still leaning too heavily on your energy supply. People must learn when they are vampiring energy and stop it if your world is to continue to evolve. Greater soul connection is a must for all as that is the way life is intended to be lived. Energy vampires must relate to other people, because other people are their food source. The person who is alone and who does not need to relate to others, such as yourself, is often the source. The empathy or other high vibrational who finds people draining is often giving of themselves. For the one who gives of their energy, you must learn to consciously give energy, not unconsciously. You must stay in control of your resources. That is how you work for the light. When you feed those who steal from you, whether they realize it or not, you are aiding the dark. They are violating your free will and universal law. There will be consequences for both of you. Me, how so? How is it the victim's fault if their energy is taken from them? Ivo, feeding the dark ones. That is what you are doing. Universal law does not take ignorance of the laws into consideration. You always reap what you sow it is cause and effect. There are many ways to use your energy for the light. On the solstice there is a 5D meditation to help with the timeline. This is an appropriate use of your energy. People exchange energy all the time. Our messages are energy exchanges to those who view them. However be careful of people who alter your mood and you feel drained around. These are energy vampires. Me, thanks, Ivo. Ivo, my love, you are most welcome. I know my words are strong and perhaps unwelcome, but your earth now will be a planet of change. With the dark ones largely taken off your world or disposed of, with the incoming photon energies, 
those on your world now will either grow or expire. This is an extinction event and those who will not grow will not continue as earthlings.